It's the last week in the San Blas Islands before I go on my slightly longer solo sail to Colombia and there's a couple of boats projects that need to be done before I can actually do that. So I tried to um, mount or I tried to set up my SSB and actually I got it to work as far as receiving at least the San Blas net in the San Blas but I couldn't send any messages but you know that's at least one step further than I have been before and I tried to um, set up my radar as well and I uh, the screen is working at least but the echo actually wasn't showing and um, because I thought that was going to be quite a big job I decided that I'll leave the radar for now and I'll focus on my AIS to get that working so I at least have one warning system when I sail at night um, well the only bad thing was I didn't have any GPS signal that I could feed into the VHF but again I was super lucky because uh, Mike and Laura from Golana they had this little um, GPS receiver that can very easily be connected to my VHF and feed the GPS signal into the VHF so I bought that of them and I hooked it up to my VHF and finally I was able to uh, set my CPA uh, alarm on my AIS system so that's pretty good that's gonna get me through the night Thanks to Weltefrieden in Hamburg, Karl has now actually his uh, nameplate on and it looks pretty neat, I think. I sailed from Disney Deep to Porvenir to uh, 
um, check out of the country Panama because I'm leaving soon for Colombia. And it was a beautiful sail and actually the wind vane was working perfectly and it was really, really nice and I gained uh, some good uh, confidence to going on my, on my next longer trip. So that was really great. Tonight I'm gonna try Cambombia for the first time. I don't really have a clue how to do it. They just always say boil it in water for 10 minutes, cut it, put onions and whatever. But then that's how they do all the dishes here, I guess. Getting the skin off this conch was actually quite a struggle and um, there's a lot of slime involved as well. But in the end I actually, I got to the meat and and I boiled and I cut it and then I actually made a, a kind of rice salad. I put some mayonnaise, some honey, some hot sauce, some vinegar and cucumber and tomato. And it was actually pretty tasty, I have to say, yeah. I was just getting ready to leave on this first uh, overnight trip with Carl and uh, I had already packed everything, I'd cooked the food, I packed like a little bag with um, something to drink and snacks and uh, you know little things that I need for the journey. I had my grab bag ready and everything. I had the weather and uh, all the tracks, uh, all the waypoints and all the charts ready and then I just opened up my engine to do my normal you know, my little checkup round just before I get started, and this is what I found. So, well, that's a ripped uh, alternator belt for those of you who don't recognize it. And um, I guess I have to change that, and uh, let's see how late it gets. So maybe I have to stay another day. We'll see. Why does that always happen in those moments? And our hearts have been misplaced in a secret location And we'll leave them there for a while as we try to save this sweet loving nation 